Tottenham people, welcome to <laughs> welcome to uh, a new guy that I'm going to be working with this year. Um, he goes by the name of Ranks. Um, we've only recently met. What's? Where have you been? Uh, man, where have you been, <laughs> blood? Like, I've been, I've been out here, bro. I've been out here, but Them and like, have you oh, celebrated you know, that falling much? out, like, bro. I was drunk, fam, when I got the news, bro. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I got the news, yeah, I was under champagne. Anyone that follows me on Insta knows, bro. I was popping bottles, fam. I was gone that day, blood. People thought we fallen out. Yeah, I know that, bro. Like, <laughs> if you follow the Insta, yeah, you would have seen that there was none of that, bro. There was none of that. Like, obviously, it was just a Christmas period. It was mad busy, innit? it? Like, that's it exactly what it was. Me and Rance have not fallen out. Um, we are, we are, we are friends as always, man. We are guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, bruv, the last Fitz Around show we did didn't even go out because, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because literally the day after, Jose was gone. Um, listen, you, I, do you know, I feel <laughs> it's hard because it's like we've got to take ourselves back to that day, back to that yeah. day because this is a video that should have come a lot earlier, but you know, we had so much to do over Christmas and New Year's, yeah. it is what it is. But we're here now, 2019. Jose's gone five games deep, but just rewind five back. Wins deep, five bro. wins deep, yeah. Take us back, Renz. Like, what was you thinking and feeling like when you actually did you believe the news when you first? I did, bro. Remember, I said, I said before Christmas he was gone, you know, and bet people were like, nah, he stuck with us to the end of the season. And then when he got chopped, bro, I literally got out of the shower, yeah, <laughs> bro, and then I saw the news, like, my inbox going mad. Everyone was like, oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's gone. My phone went mad. It nearly crashed. I swear to you, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, everything, oh, madness blowing off. Everyone, I was the first person people message. I'm sure of it. What man. was the first thing you saw? Did you see the Sky Sports thing on nah, your thing or I someone saw, told you? Or I saw a message saying he's gone. And I was like, <laughs> I went straight to Sky Sports. And when I saw that, bro, Yellow I writing. Was, bro, that was it. That's when I had to get the bottles out, bro. <laughs> pop, pop, blood. I was drunk, blood. Man got the shirt on. You get me? Man got the tie on. I got drunk, blood. I, I couldn't like, believe it. I've been um, the school that I, that I work in. A, there was a few teachers coming up to me. They was going, have you heard? Have you heard? This is where the kids are coming in. And I'm like, heard about what? Stop talking to me. We've got pupils coming in. They were like, he's gone. He's gone. Some of the pupils go, sir, sir, did you hear? And I'm like, what? I'm just celebrating with all the kids and stuff. Right. But look, then we get the news that then Ollie's in. Yeah. And, you know, we done our thing on BBC um, yeah, Radio 5, 5 Live that time as well. And you gave it for us then. What is it? Um, how do you think it's gone since he's come? I think it's gone exactly the way it's meant to go. Do you know what I mean? And I said, that, like, Mike Phelan was the trump card, innit? That like, everyone got so drawn into the whole Oli thing. Like, the Oli appointment wasn't what excited me. It was the Phelan appointment. So as soon as I saw Phelan, I said, yeah, we're going to be cool. Mm. You know what I mean? And that was it, man. And so far, like, saying all the right things, man. If you could give a man a job on just what he says, brother, he would have had it already. I'd have given it to him. Mm. He, ain't, he ain't said anything that I don't believe. Like, he just knows, innit? Like, he knows what it's about, bruv. And it's mad. It's very mad, man. That them guys just got to play football. Like, that first game against Cardiff, you know what? I, I went into that game thinking, look, yes, we've got Jose out, and we've been saying for such a long time, not just us two, loads of Man United fans, not all of them, but a load. Mm. He's the problem. He's stifling our style and stuff. But it's like, right, but here's the first game. Can't expect to just see a clear difference straight away. Maybe you take a couple of games. Five goals straight away. Bruv. I told everyone, innit? I told everyone. I was screaming for this guy to get out. I'm not even saying his name no more. He's this guy, bro. <laughs> I said, I promise, I ain't saying his name no more. He's this guy or the other guy, bro. I'm done with it, innit? Mm. Like I said, as soon as we get him out, we're gonna fly. I said it. We have the attacking players. We have the players. Look at Martial's um, goal against um, Cardiff. Mm. Bro, that's the kind of goals that we should be scoring every game because we Proper have the players goals, with the technical it? ability, man. Like real counter-attacking, snappy, one-touch football. I said we had the players to do it. As soon as that guy was gone, the goals just started raining in, bro. So, as I said, when you're looking at negative goal difference and you lot want to blame players, a lot of guys are saying, oh, the players aren't good enough. Look at our squad, this, that, and the other. What, all of a sudden, that talk's gone out the window, bro. It has. It's gone. Like, it just proved. And then, like, look, that first Cardiff game, look, there was Cardiff for a poor side, etc., etc. So, we spanked five against them. Then we won at home against Huddersfield, 3-1. Then we scored four. Then we scored four. Then we scored two, another two. And so then we it's... scored another two. But so we it... scored more than one goal in every single game. Oh, easily. Easy. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And that is down to the just the mentality that he's instilled. Not so much the coaching because there's only so much you can do. 
over the Christmas period, he wouldn't yeah. have had that long with them. These guys yeah. aren't training every day because they're playing every three games. And he said, he said that. Days. And when you know, journalists are asking Oli, what have you done or how have you... He goes, listen, I haven't had that long. I have just want to put smiles on their faces and tell them to go and play. That's what him and Mike Phelan keep saying. And what I like most about it is that that's what we're seeing. It's like they're, they're staying true to their word. Like, I said to a lot of fans in the fan camps, you've been seeing it. Mm. Like I've said to them, is it just as easy as going like, rah, just go and play your football? Or is there a bit more to But every fan has gone, nah, it is that easy. That, 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 bro, but as I said, yeah, we should be beating these teams with no manager, bro. Like, <laughs> I said that. <laughs> no manager. Like, yeah. I could have I could have easily led that team, yeah, to them wins, bro. By like, saying the same thing. By saying good, the same yeah. thing. I said, you, man, just go out there and do your thing, innit? Like, yeah. that's it. You don't know what you need to do. You're big men. Like, you know how to play. <laughs> yeah, you're position. seasoned pros. You're like, yeah. seasoned, bro. Yeah. All of you, man, are international footballers, innit? Like, you can't be going, yeah, and getting clapped. We, we went to Brighton, watched them, man, lose and that. All the games that we lost under that guy, bruv, I want to replay them under Oli, and you'll see the difference, innit? I feel like they should just scrap that West match and rematch, man, yeah. Oh. I want to go back to West Ham and slap them 5-0. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I feel, <laughs> bruv. No, go up to, go up, go up to Brighton and hit them for six, bruv. Like, <laughs> but that's what we need to be doing to these teams, bruv. Mm. We've got Brighton next, teams, actually, after, yeah. after Spurs. They're going to get mashed. <laughs> that's what they're going to get. They're going to get the work, fam, I'm telling you. I told man already, yeah, Huddersfield got punched up on Boxing Day, bruv. I'm telling you, all of them guys will get it from us, man. And that's, and that's been the biggest thing, like, the, the arrogance has been bad. Like, at every game I've been doing, they're obviously singing the Ollie song, like, mm. jumping and shouting, like, even I speak to fans before the game, after the game, even during the game, everyone's just happy. Like, the feel-good yep. factor, like, you know when the Rain base, Rooney said... The fan base is back together. Even the tea lady I mean? was upset, yeah. like, Rooney was saying. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but Rooney, like, 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 Rooney didn't say that when the other guy was still there. He waited till he left, didn't he? He's a coward for that. Like, I, didn't, mm. I didn't respect that. I personally, no one really wanted yeah, the, the, no, the in-house people didn't yeah, really want to. Nobody wanted to say nothing, but it was it was well known that these guys were unhappy. So mm. you saw like what a difference the mood makes. Oh. They they were isolating individual players. There's not a single player that hasn't looked better in that system, Lukaku included. Mm. But, and I'm not a fan of his. Mm. You know what I mean? But like he will get more chances because mm. he needs chances to score goals because he's never going to create anything himself. Mm. As we saw in yeah. the last game, and people were getting onto me. Well, not really getting onto me. A lot of people agreed with what I said, but I was just like, look, the argument, this is just taking it slightly different, like, because you brought him up. But yeah. the Lukaku thing, like, look, some fans are like, oh, back him, back your own player. And I get that. But you, you, if you watch this show, you watch me around, you know we don't do blindly loving anything, yeah? yeah. yeah? It's a reason why. But what, you want me to back him over, like, over, the, Rashford. O, o, over Rashford? Oh, and I, oh, okay, o, over the, over, over the, um, the positive positivity of our team, like our team clearly plays better without him, and maybe maybe Lukaku's the new Oli. Like be the he super is, sub. He's the super <laughs> sub though, bro. Because you know what I mean? Because he's very limited, yeah. But he scores goals. He's a super sub. Yeah. Oli was technically better than him. He's so an expensive I mean? super yeah. sub though. But, but, but <laughs> that's people the forget that, and that's why I don't like the agenda against my guy Pogba, yeah. Because when everyone's talking about Lukaku and that, you lot forget that my man cost seventy five million plus Wayne Rooney. Mm. If anything, he was more expensive than Pogba. For, for what we paid, like, mm. and this guy ain't really good enough to be starting week in, week out mm. for us. And nobody's talking about how much he costs. But when it's Pogba, everyone wants to talk about 90 million, bro. Mm. Like, that's mad. Same, with, same with Alexis as well, bro. Exactly. No one talks about the fact that this guy is the highest paid player at the club. Like, everyone wants to talk about PP. Mm. Now what, bro? Humble pie for all of you. I told you. I, mean, I told you, you. You are one of bro, Pogba's biggest. I am the founder biggest, yeah. of Pogba FC, bro. <laughs> Man is the have you, shut, have you shut it down now? No, is no, it, is it, does I'm it still founder, exist? I'm the founder, I'm the chairman, I own, CEO. I own, I'm the CEO, I own all the shares, all of them, blood, all of them. Where, with, with the Pogba thing. Where is my team, bro? <laughs> yes, wait. Matthew as well, my guy, bro. Matthew shout McFadden, out. man. Shout out. You, know what? you made me one as well. We've got to shout out Matthew McFadden. Get on to him. Uh, he's made these, these posters for us. Craig got one as well. I think Sophie did as well. Really good, really good. Obviously, you got Pogba, your favorite player. I got Martial. I got, I'm a split between Martial and Pogba and favorite players. But um, but on 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 that, look, I know it's all bad with the Pogba FC, Martial, it's all of this. It's, we're all united. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. But with that thing though, because he, he, he I was stuck by him. Were, man, they, man, man, were booing him, blood. His own fans were booing him. Two saying, middle fingers out, out whistling, yeah. get out our club. And now all of a sudden, he's just banging goals for fun. And now everyone's gone really silent. I love it. I My love mentions it. have gone hella silent, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you've left it open. You're, you're open, open. For, for apologies. Open, bro. The apologies anytime you want. Anytime <laughs> you want. Because I told you, man. Because you know what's wicked? The other day, um, I was saying about McTominay. I said he's got it all to do to prove to me, yeah, 
that he's good enough because that guy is literally the embodiment of the hell that I went through under the other guy for the last that guy, two years. Other guy, Bro, <laughs> the guy. Last two and a half years, the pain in it. And everyone's like, oh, we should get behind him. He's one of our own. I'll be like, listen, yeah, this guy's done nothing in football, yeah, for me to say, yo, I'm going to get behind him blindly, yeah? Mm. Whereas Pogba has got four Scudettos, yeah? Like, two Copa Italias, yeah? Fifth Pro nomination, a World Cup, a World Cup final man of the you've match. You've seen it, yeah, you've Bro, seen I've the evidence. I've seen enough for me to stick my neck on the board and say, you know what, I'm going to back this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tom and ain't showed me nothing, blood. And the other day he didn't show me nothing again, bruv. He's mayonnaise forever, blood. I'm telling you, like <laughs> maybe not forever. He might prove you wrong. Nah, 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 bro. <laughs> like, like he's red in level. Like, you know what I mean? When you he didn't stand out in the other game, bruv. Like he vanished against a championship team. He's a championship player, mm. and that's okay. Do you know what I mean? He's a championship player, but bruv, like the amount of stick that PP got, yeah. But everyone's like, oh no, nah, you should give him. A clean slate and that. No, 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 no. You got to prove yourself. No, like everyone works. else. I, I speak to fans in the in the terraces. Don't come on camera. It's not interview time. It's just you know yeah, when yeah, you yeah. just talk. Still saying this to me. Yeah, but um, it's an absolute disgrace what he's done because he 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 he's chosen not to play when Jose was. He's chosen not to play was like Rash like the twenty one other players who what, chose was, not was, to play. Was Rashford choosing not to play as well because he just turned into the best striker at our club like overnight. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What was he just not playing? No energy. Local. How he rants, rants. Local from Manchester. This is know. it, bro. Let's not. Rashford yeah. is the guy. He should be. He should be our front man now. Like he's proven in the three four games that. Yeah, his finishing needs work and his composure. But I tell you what, everything else that he gives us off the ball that Rom can't give us, I'm picking him first. I'd rather pick Rashford, yeah, and he misses two chances a game, bruv, because he gives you so much yeah. more. Do you know what I mean? I'm not picking Rom to miss two chances a game and give you nothing else. <laughs> That's the thing. Someone said to me, oh, but he's a top-level striker. Look how much he scores, etc." I said, listen, to be a top-level striker, when your goals dry up or you're having a bad patch in a game, you still need to be contributing. That's in link-up play. Bro, That's in movement. This is why That's in football IQ. Probably in, the greatest finisher that ever played for our club, Ruud van Nistelrooy. Yeah? Why did he get sold? Because we wanted to play a different style of football, bruv. And you know what? When he wasn't scoring goals, he wasn't contributing outside the box because he wasn't a link man. And he did have good link-up play. Mm, it, was way, stage, yeah. it was way better than Lukaku's. But yeah. I tell you what, he didn't have the pace of mobility and he wasn't that kind of guy. And we wanted to go into the fluid no, Ronaldo, come, Tevez, yeah, exactly. Rooney, Rooney yeah. thing. So he did not fit. And did Lukaku is a case of that. He just mm. does not fit. Like, if a team wants to build their team around him, good luck to yeah. you. <laughs> they play a different style yeah, of football. Yeah, you know I mean? They obviously don't, they don't play the style of play up to your strike and we work off him. <laughs> but this is it. Like, go somewhere where they're going to play off you. Like, like, and I was going to say, like a wall, innit? But if you kick the ball at a wall, it comes you back. You know it's going to come back. You know what I mean? When you kick a ball at Rom, you don't know where it's going. Did you see bro. the last game? Yeah. Bro, what, when did, the ball went up to him on the halfway line, did he didn't know where that? it was. He was just like... And then there was that chance when he was clean through. He was through on goal, he tripped over the running ball. running in a straight line. Just run in a straight line. You're quick, you're powerful. <laughs> Use one side of your body to hold off the defender and shoot across it. goal. Man fumbled his feet. He and there's people out here really trying to defend this guy and say, like... Oh, but he scores goals and stuff like that. Listen, he will always score goals if when chances are put on the plate. Yeah. The problem is that is when you're trying to play against the top teams and trying to yeah, build something, you, don't get that you many can't do anyway. that. You have to be able to make something for yourself or take that, that one. And even Ryan Giggs said it, yeah? Man, he's a <laughs> 75 makes a million <laughs> tapping Makes merchant, a bad bro. ball, look, no, he's makes a good, a good ball, ball look bad. bad. And it's so That's, true. He's a tapping merchant, fam. He is. Because there's certain players, if they've got a decent touch, you can give them a ball that yeah. is a 7 out of 10 ball. Yeah. And they'll make it look, look like at the goal. Nine. Look at the goal that Aguero scored against Liverpool. Tight, you know, realistically, it was, it was Bernardo Silva who passed in the ball yeah. there. He's not really passing to him there for an assist. He's just yeah. trying to make something happen there. Mm. But because of the sharpness and the, the level of technique and skill from Aguero, one touch, bang. But this is it, like bro. And then we've Kane had, guys, the we've had guys like Berber, yeah? Where do the same thing. You could shoot the ball at him out of a cannon, bro. And he's killing that, you know, yep. over his shoulder. Yep. You know what I mean, Van Persie banging shots over yep. his shoulder first time. No, yep. that is the level, isn't it? And that's that, the to wear the nine on your back yep. at this club. He's not levels, in it. He's not levels. Everton was his level, yeah. That's just it. Like he's not a world beater. Far from it. Mm. Like, is he better than Rashford? All round, no, he's not. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's just what it is. And we have to clear this up because there's still going to be people not understanding. We're not saying. When he plays, we don't want him to perform well. No, bro, we don't want him to score. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's just not get that misconstrued. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, exactly. Yeah. A lot of people will go, oh, you're just, you don't, when he scores then, I don't want to hit. We're not saying that. Because the difference with the Pogba thing is people were going, 
get him out of our get club because he's club. crap yeah. and all of it like that it, and, he, and he's disrespected this he's disrespected yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, there was a what we're saying blown exactly agenda, blood. it what wasn't even about numbers it wasn't exactly. about that it was personal with him. what we're saying about the Lukaku is is that look we understand his strengths yeah but more importantly we understand his weaknesses and his strengths are not our strengths there you go that's this is a mean. bad fit but coming off the bench yeah bro like he, listen, gonna get chances he happy playing attacking football to be a super sub for us mm. Do you know what I mean? Then that's mm. cool, innit? Because if you want to compete with the likes of the Bayerns and that, them man have got big boy players they could bring off the bench, innit? And even if, even if you strip it down to like, you see the old school thing of like, you play well, you keep your shirt. You yeah. know that Sunday with league thing where there's no favourites? Well, sorry, mate. You've been out of the team for a while. Rash is smashing it. So yeah. what have you so done to displace him? to get injured or... There you go. It's to have a little Lukaku poor started and scored a and hat trick. We'll there you go. So right now, Rom, look, it's not that we don't back you. Play well, well, you keep your shirt. Well, we kind of don't because we don't think he's going to cut the mustard. But mm. not not saying we don't support you when you play. Mm. But what we're saying is, I think your 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 ability, I don't think will ever surpass the it level that not, needs bruv, to. And Rashford you know I mean? and Martial are still improving, bro. Look, he's hit his down. ceiling already, bro. Mm. That's his ceiling, isn't it? Tapping's blood. That's man ceiling. It's just a fact, isn't it? It's yeah. just a fact. It's not that's even trying to get onto him. Have banter. And it's just right. a fact. And that's okay, bro. Like man's a stat padder, isn't it? Like mm. like. It's fine. Do you know what I mean? He's good at what he's good at. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But that's a very limited... Mm. And under this manager, it. well, for Oli for the next five months, should we mm. say, you can't, if Rashford keeps offering what he offers, which I see him doing, he's always going to be willing to run. He's always going to mm. have the movement. With how we want to play, I can't see Bro, him displacing young. him unless there's an injury. He's young, he's English, and he's a Manchester boy. Like You it's can't compete that, yeah. with them three things, innit, bruv? Like, he is basically like what Rooney was to us in terms of the embodiment, yeah? Like now, bruv, he's poster boy, one of the poster boys of English football. Rom can't compete with that. He can't. No. Like, realistically, his agent will be on the blower now, bruv. Simple as. Let's talk about some of the players who have flourished in the system so far under Oli. And some of the players who you've looked at and thought, ooh, Getting a bit, <laughs> uh, I'm getting a bit worried, or what are they still doing here, etc. Because this is a talking point for me. I, f I threw it out there on Twitter. I said, and it, and this is not me swaying it one way because I'm, I'm st I got my own opinion, but I'll say that after. Yeah. Have we overhyped Fred, or I does he just does he just him. need some more time, yeah. stability, you know, a year to find his feet? We've seen the same with Lindelof. We've seen a lot of um, players come to Man United. Evra, Vidic, who really Lindelof, struggled I first saw his season. First game, man got sent off and that, like, do you know what I mean? In pre-season, man kicked man up in the yeah. air. And now, he's <laughs> yeah. our, now he's our best centre back. And then like, that Premier League game against Huddersfield last season, tried to head oh. it back, and then they, we lost again. You know. It's taken on Victor Fred, look, over a season to settle. Do you know what mm. I mean? And everyone's forgetting that now. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, he's our best centre-back. And Fred's been here for five minutes. A man mm. are ready to throw him under the bus. I'm not. Mm. Do you, do you know think I mean? he can come good? And Bro, like, do you know how hard it is to get anywhere near that, near that Brazil team? Blood? If he's in there, he, he can play. <laughs> you know Just like, selected. To, in yeah. The, yeah. He can play. Like, to get anywhere near there, blood, because they mm. got 50 men that didn't make it that could play for England. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but that, that's, that's how real it is, yeah. bro. Do you know what I mean? So understand, yeah, that Fred is levels. I saw him eat up Man City. You know what I mean? In the Champions League. He's a baller. You can't do that if you yeah. haven't got ability, innit? But he was at a team where he was comfortable playing in a position. Mm. And, like, he's just not used to the pace of the game. But mm. he done some really good things in the game. And mm. he done some bad things. Mm. But it is what it is. People choose to highlight the negatives with a lot of players, innit? Because... It's an agenda, really. They just, they're just kind of like, yeah, well, it costs 50 million, this, that, and the other. What do you expect? Not everyone is going to hit the ground running. That's mm. not how football they works. They need time. They all need time, blood. Vidic didn't hit the ground running. Ever didn't hit the ground running. Everyone's screaming club legend, bruv. You, mm. you know what I mean? If, if Twitter Give was the popping the way it was now, then man would have been like, yeah, yeah. get him out, blood. <laughs> yeah, like, get Vidic out and that. Yeah. And now when, Vidic wasn't, in, serve, when Vidic wasn't in my all-time 11, people were like, no, Vidic, no, Vidic. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? But he had a stinker for the first six months. Yeah, he did. He did. And so did Evra. I remember they came in January, innit? Wow, Evra was struggled. vomiting on the pitch and that, <laughs> yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. mate. Andreas, um, another one who we always wanted to get game time. We always mm. wanted to play. Had a couple of tiny little spells under Joe, so nowhere near enough. Mm. A couple of games under Oli hasn't quite looked at. He needs at, to leave. Is it he needs to leave, bro. Well, like for, for good. his own career. For yeah. good. Yeah, because... He's an eight, isn't it? Like, and he's not going to play in the position that he's best at at our club because we've got too many men there that are better than him, more senior than him. He's not a DM. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Jose tried to do that. That's not him, innit? Mm -hmm. Like, he played right of a front three in Spain, bruv. He's an attacking player. And he got mm -hmm. man tr trying to do this DM. Like, mm -hmm. nah, bruv. Like, it's disrespectful to him. Like, he's technically way better than that. Do you think and he'd go in January? I don't know. But if he did, I wish him the best of luck, man, because he's too good to be, he's too good to be playing DM 
like and then getting cussed off by like bare casuals like that haven't actually seen this guy play football like mm. you go and watch and see what he did like last season and you see this guy is a player should we because we know or we've seen little glimpses of what he can do etc especially in spain whatever should we do you think we'll be like looking at it after us thinking oh man let that one let that one go or look, man, you know, no we'll because i players. think that we've got an embarrassment of riches when it comes to attacking players in it so i don't think we'll miss him mm. to be honest i don't think but for his on a personal level towards him you think you know what yeah. you're not you're not going to quite make it i yeah. can understand if you yeah, yeah absolutely it's not looking he's, like he, he don't, you don't have anything to prove to me bruv like i know he's got the technical ability like i know he's got all of that but is he gonna is he gonna get the time at a club this size probably mm. not like mm. it doesn't seem that way that's yeah. that's that's for sure this is going to be interesting because i didn't say we were going to talk about this actually Nemanja Static slash Matic. <laughs> now listen. I'm still dead food, lad. He under Jose, we yeah. know we know what food. that was or that guy, yeah. But he has stepped up his performances and yep. looked quite an important part of our midfield to make it tick. To be honest, yeah. down to Oli, all the way we're playing now. Of course, but that's what I'm saying. Where it's not personal, everyone's improved mm. because he's actually looking forward. Like I think, what game was it? He played like a through ball, like over the top. And <laughs> yeah, I was like, that to Martial. Yeah, was, yeah I that was, was like uh, huh? Bournemouth, innit? Right? I was like, whoa, yeah. okay. Like you know he's you even know? doing little flicks. Bro, like, around normally the corner. <laughs> he would have chopped back here yeah, and then gone back to Ashley Young, fam. That's what would have happened, didn't it? Ashley Young got caught offside, blood. I had to tweet it <laughs> bro, from left back, and you can't tell me that's not the manager. Mm. Ashley Young got caught offside, bro. Like how? He didn't cross the halfway line for two and a half years, blood. Instant. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And like when I was saying, ask the manager, they were like, oh, the players got to take some responsibility. All of you lot that was giving all of that, bruv. Like, as I said, the apologies, you can leave them in the comments, blood. Because everyone's improved. Nobody has, nobody has gone the other way. Like mm. the progression that Rashford has shown, yeah, in the last five games, imagine what he lost out on in the last mm. two and a half years. It's Imagine like time will never get be. back. It's like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's put him behind in his development because Bro, we've stayed stagnant in them two years. Yeah. Them two's development. That man would be worldies now. Now. You see, when you're looking at Mbappe now, yeah? Mm. Like, bruv, if, give them two and a half years under Oli or someone of that ilk, yeah? Mm. And them man, them man will be screaming at that level, especially Martial. Because mm. Martial's wild, bruv. Like, he's different. Mm. Different, great. And he was even... You're doing bits even under Jose under in difficult conditions. He, wow. he, you know what I mean. Out of all of our players, he probably showed the most in the toughest circumstances because mm. he got thrown under the bus at West Ham. And people forget that because yeah. they say, "Oh, his attitude's not. He's lazy." But he's had to have a lot of mental strength to come back from what that guy yeah. was was trying to how he was trying to treat him. Bro, remember that West Ham game, bro? He got thrown oh. under the bus. They were he was like, a striker in a two, they and were that like, guy Martial, was Martial, Martial. <laughs> you ask for Martial, then I give you Martial, and then this is why I play Lukaku and that. Bro, remember all of those? <laughs> remember all that? Remember all that, and oh, then he kept him in a job. Okay. <laughs> um, see what I'm saying? He must have been going to sleep, yeah? Conflicted, thinking, rah, like, I just got a man of the match performance, but now this guy's still here, like. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You know how mad that must have been for him? Nuts. I, Eric Bailly. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> that red card was sick, bro. He's, he's it fucking It wasn't a red, nuts. by the way. He, uh, I thought it was a bit of a scissors, but he wasn't yeah. dangerous. I don't, right. I don't know. It was I, the front yeah. leg, though, innit? It was the front but leg. with him, yeah, front with him. Okay, let's... <laughs> I love him. Yeah. yeah, I like that kind of mad, eccentric, yeah, crazy yeah, ass I'm player. Man, bro. Is he? Have we overhyped him? Nah, bro. I just think that he's a confidence player, isn't it? Like he's a wreck. You're always gonna get <laughs> he's that, innit? Nuts. Bro. But you're always gonna get that, bro. I wouldn't mind seeing him at right back he's as well, like, though, because bro. he's just, bro, he's an athlete. He could get up mm. and down. He's got good feet as well. He can play ball. But going forward though, going would, forward. He, would he have it crossing? Could bro, he? Could why he really? Not, bro, bro? He could get up there, bro. At the end of the day, man. You get up there, bro. You just gotta pull it back across the floor, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. for right back, yeah, you know. Like, just play him. Like, I have to play him, innit? Like, this guy, he's got an engine. Like, no one's ripping Eric Bailly for pace. Like, he's not. Like, do you know what I mean? He makes mistakes and that, but. Bro, but any young centre back is gonna make mistakes. Do you mm. know what I mean? Victor makes mistakes, but Victor's more accomplished. He's more of a cool head, he's isn't he? Good it? footballer, man. Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, great you know I mean? footballer. Some people, some people, people have called for him for DM. Yeah, bro. he could play DM. Lindelof better than match. He could play DM better than match for sure, bro. Like they were saying that he could do a little Eric Dyer thing because mm. Eric Dyer plays centre back as well. Yeah, and Eric yeah. Dyer ain't got feet like um, Victor, mm. but um, Darmian, bro, centre back. <laughs> <laughs> cultured no, blood. No, wait, right, wait. Cultured blood. Do you know what? I I ended up giving my man of the match to Damian yeah, the other day the because everyone played poorly. Oh. He wasn't really that. And man I thought, you know what? Only Redding, bro. Accomplished. Do you know what? Man was plucking the ball out the air, coiffing <laughs> it, blood, and then and running I, forward and sliding it in, bro. I saw that. Man Put man some respect on Damian. Do you know what? Yeah. I told you a lot about Damian, bro. Everyone was he, like, oh, we should sell him. Nah, he's nah, one nah. of them players that like. It hasn't quite worked out for him. Under LVG, putting some really bruv, good performances Italian at right back. Italian international. I seen him pocket Raheem mm. Sterling when we played um, Italy, bruv. He can play. It happens. And the thing is, 
But when he's a proper professional, like yeah. when you call on him, yeah, he just does. He it does, yeah. But right back, look, there were times I Brilliant saw him. He just didn't player. offer anything yeah. going forward. Maybe. Yeah, but I'd but say he's that smart. Like Jose, okay, though, yeah. he's yeah, our yeah, best yeah. defender. Mm. He is in terms of the dark arts of Italian defending, bro. Man will pull pull you by your sock, blood. Like you know what I'm saying? That, that's proper the kind of guy. Italiano. Proper Italian. Yeah. Like they trip over in front of you and that to stop you from getting through <laughs> on goal and that. Like that's what he does. <laughs> you know what I mean, that's proper defending. Like mm. proper defending when it comes to all out defending like by any means mm. he's the guy in it mm. so it's one of them ones where i said and i said it and it's on video i would not sell this guy he can play right back left back center back like a like, utility guy and he's young mm. like why would you get rid of him it's whether or not he's going to be happy with it but a lot but of people just class him no that's what means the ultimate professional a lot of oh. people just class him as dead wood yeah he's not dead wood. but i think he can be used at times like player, this yeah bro, important squad player not dead wood mm. at all he could do a job at i think i think he's unfair there's been times uh, even i have to hold my hands and say look i've gone oh fucking get this guy out okay but when you actually deep it and break it down anytime we've relied on him or needed him he's done a job that's one thing I did agree about what that guy did. He, he, he did say, look, he's the ultimate professional. Yeah. And that's probably one of the only things I did agree with him about. I want to talk about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, yeah? Yeah. In terms of me personally, I think that if he gets this job long term, he has to get it on merit. Yeah. Because it's very easy to get caught up in, in, the, romance, yeah. in, the, bro in the bromance, the romance, the love, the love story looking for the perfect ending. How nice would it be if Oli could take us to Premiership glory, next, uh, the last person after Sir Allison. All of that's lovely, but it could also go the other way and he could ruin his legacy. This is it. The perfect scenario for me is he win the FA Cup, Oli gets to lift the trophy, then he bows out the legend that he came in. Even a bigger mm. legend, bruv. I don't want like him to stay and then his reputation gets tarnished, bruv, because he don't deserve but, that. But, but he doesn't deserve that. But what if he earned the right to be given a chance to do that. I don't that. think he can earn the right ahead Won of... Won the Champions League, got us fourth. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> blood, if he, um, if he did that, I told man I would hijack the social bandwagon. I'll hijack that, blood. I swear down, you'll see me on the parade bus like, drunk. Actually, that could, uh, that could if he things. ever done that, I'll be hanging well, up even that if parade We didn't come fourth, but we won the Champions League. Bro, imagine like, that. Nah, because anyone, could win, anyone can win a cup, though. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, the league position will tell me if he's really about that life, yeah. innit? Like, if he gets us into that top four, yeah. and it's doable now. Of course it is. Do you know what I mean? If he gets us into that top four, then we might not have to listen to him. But that's what I mean, like, man. So, but then you could look at it and think, because if we give right, him the job on a, on a, on a long-term basis, there's a chance that his put legacy could way, fall yeah. down. If, if there's no way we can get Pochettino, yeah, in the summer. You'd rather him than Zidane. If, he get, if, if Solskjaer gets fourth, I say fuck it, just stick it with Oli yeah. because I keep feeling day, as well. Of course, because Isn't the it? thing is, Zizou, I love him, yeah, but he's not a dead cert, blood. He's not. No, with, he never with has Poch, been. Yeah. Poch is a guarantee. That's why I'd pay money for Poch because Poch guaranteed it at Southampton. He went to Spurs and done the same thing but better at Spurs. Mm. And if he comes with the money, so it's like another, us, step another step in up in club budget. He so is yeah. proven. And he's proven... Even though he hasn't won anything? And he's proven... Yeah, well, well, with what, blood? Man, man's net spends five million, blood. What's he winning with that? And that whole... I'm just putting that to his devil's advocate. If I, yeah. if, for me personally, the argument of he's never won anything, I just think it's flawed now. Jose won everything there is to win and was shit. <laughs> and he's done. <laughs> and he's Van done Gaal won everything there is to win and the same thing. So I, that, that analogy, I just think new age football, it goes on the type of football you play and the direction you can take a team. Klopp has not won nothing with Liverpool because yeah. he has won stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he dethroned Bayern. He dethroned Bayern when, you know, when they were brilliant. Temporarily. When they had, exactly, you know temporarily. So you don't do that. Yeah. With, and Dortmund don't have anywhere near the power that they do yeah. if you're not a good coach. But this is it, brother. And Oli talks in his interviews a lot about improving players, brother. And we never heard that. We never heard that under the other guy, brother. He talks about improving players, brother, because he's a coach. He definitely you know does talk about improving players. And that's just it. With how he improves players, and he wants to, you know, play the Man United way, he yeah. wants to... It seems like if he gets it on merit, mm. I've got no problem with that. I've got no I just, problem I'm just it. It scared. It doesn't But it does worry. I'm not going to lie. It does worry me because I just think... There's a chance that we could maybe not get top four. Because um, even the top, it's hard because if he misses out on it by a point or two, do you well, know what I mean? I don't know, it it's, way, it's difficult, yeah. If man. we get in a director of football, yeah, yeah, get our recruitment together, mm. Oli can stay, blood, mm. if we can't get Poch. Mm. Because at least the behind the scenes, everything's going to get stable, dealt with probably. Yeah. Because really, it doesn't matter who the coach is, bruv. Mm. If everything's stable behind the scenes, bruv, do you know what I'm saying? You can get flipping, you can get Bob the Builder in to manage Barca, bruv. Them men mm. are going to win the league mm. anyway. Do you know what I mean? The structure's there The structure's him. there. they got a man that recruits. they got a man that do everything. I, 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 all right, because when we talk, you know, this is what we like to do. We like to look at every single angle, yeah? Mm. Is there a chance that, like, 
Oli could be like too happy, too friendly, too. You know, the players want to play for him now, and he's, yeah. he's a legend. You see, when the, that going gets really tough, yeah. I know he said it in his first um, press conference. He goes, I do have a hair dryer, you know, yeah, in I've a laughing heard, way. That he, do you know what I'm saying? He can do it. Bastard, though, but so. do you think that could be a problem that he's like, oh, you can't always go, come yeah, on, yeah. it's all right. Sometimes you need to be, no, what bro, are you doing? This is why I like Poch, because Poch is a bastard, blood. Like, <laughs> he's dropped a man, bro, like, and come out and said, yeah, bro, I just ain't picked him. Yeah. Like, what? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. I like that. My, my worry is, or oh, Carrick and McKenna too close to the players because yeah. Phil Jones, blood, uh, this guy, bro. But well, feeling liked him bro, as well. So I'm telling you, know you know Phil I mean? Jones keeps playing, bro. Yeah. Like, and it's because their man are too close, fam. Yeah. It is because yeah. Phil Jones would be out on his ass under any manager, bro. Mm. If Pochettino come in, he likes block ball playing centre backs. Phil Jones ain't playing. Gone. Yeah, gone. No way, gone. And mm. I just feel like dear Carrick. And I feel like remember certain, Carrick played with him. It's you know a certain I mean? loyalty to these kind of guys. This is it. And like, that's why I didn't expect too many changes. Yeah. Like you seen that first game, Cardiff and set. I just didn't expect Oli to come and go, right, mate, it's your crap, get out. But this is I couldn't see that happening. He's still not going to want to upset the apple cart. It's pretty much the same yeah. team, bruv. Like, does Carrick and them man and Phelan, remember Phelan was there when Jones got brought in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So them man, did they have it in them to say, you know what, you're he done He was there when he's going to be England's yeah. next best. Yeah. <laughs> next Duncan Edwards and that, get out, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? That guy, yeah, <laughs> that guy, I told you, that guy is just burning down like... He's just calamity, fam. Like, he's that guy, bro. He's Sometimes just you got to just enjoy it. Bro. You just got to enjoy it. Some of the things he does, you see that other picture of him just face, face down. Face down, bro. Face planted, bro. Like, face down like a cheetah's iPhone. I said it already, blood. Phil Jones is eating grass, fam. And like, that's what he does. Like, he's Manchester Whoa. United, yeah? On his testimonial, <laughs> man just have collage of memes, blood. On, on the big fucking screen. Just memes, blood. Right. That's enough of that. Um, we're going to go to the question section where we take uh, a few of you guys' questions. And, um, and tackle them. So, yeah, yeah. first up, let's hit the Twitter. Thank you for all you guys putting in for that as well, because that helps to make a great show, and we want that uh, interaction with you a lot. This one's from um, This The Devils, MUFC Unofficial. Um, do you think we hold a fair amount of chance winning against Spurs this weekend? I don't, bruv, like, I don't know about winning, but I, I, think, that, I think that we're capable. So, yeah. I think that we're capable, for sure. Did it under Jose? I know it went yeah. in the Prem, but we did it. Yeah, I think we're capable of beating them, yes. Um, I would judge Oli on how he does tactically against the big teams. It's mm. all well and good saying go out there and blow man away when we're playing against the, the minnows. Mm. But when we're playing against man that are level with us, you need a plan. You need, you need a, a plan, 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 innit? Like if if Oli goes in there with a plan and executes this, that's when I'm gonna start taking him seriously. Would you rate him more than Poch if he beat him? No, I wouldn't. Because in a one-off game, blood, I've seen Mourinho like. Bro, like I seen us when we, when Liverpool battered us and that man on all had like twenty percent possession and nickel one nil and that <laughs> like that don't mean nothing. Innit? Beat Juventus it coming yeah, back for it depends on how. how. Beat City from two nil down. Save that the hair made from Ronaldo <laughs> oh. and all of them things, bro. Like understand, yeah, the result is not just what's important; it's the yeah. performance. And anyone can beat anyone. We've anyone seen that. The top beat clubs anyone. beat the little clubs. Yeah. Little clubs beat the top clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle clubs beat the bottom. Bottom yeah, it beat the top. It, this is football. It's not. You can't oh, base like, the, the managerial decision yeah. of whether Oli beats Poch. It's not like oh, I beat you, so I'm better than you. That's not how football works, yeah, isn't it? That's exactly. not how it works. The way I see that game is with that question. I think we have every chance of beating Spurs. Of yeah. course we do, because we're Man United. Look at the players that we've got. Not saying we're Man United, so it means we're going to win, but I'm saying we've got good enough players to turn up on the day and beat Spurs. Yeah. Wolves can, we can. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Last year, we did it yeah. in the semi from 1 0 down in, in that system. Yeah. So, what could we do now? Like I said, though, I do agree with what you're saying, though. This is where we're going to see a different side. So, we took, I, took, I spoke about a, a string to the bow against Newcastle, that type of win, because it wasn't quite going for yeah, us while we kept I going. That that this game is another test, one. Yeah, Newcastle it was. And he passed. He lost and he passed with flying colours. And they changed That was a typical United exactly. win where it wasn't quite going. His substitute scored. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it was one of them ones where we had to grind it out. And yeah. he showed that we grind it out, bruv. Man, man, I come 2 0 up and that making attacking changes. Yeah. And, that, like, and looking man, for the third. And Pogba yeah. went around the keeper, probably should have scored. Yeah. So, this is where he's going to um, show us how far we've come in these five games. Well, it'll sure. be the six, but you know what I mean? For so, sure, sure. yeah, for me, of course we can beat Spurs. Would I judge that on whether Oli's better than Poch, etc.? Absolutely not. Mm. Um, let's see where we finish, innit? Next question. Um, this is from Herbert. I can't read that number out. I'm just going to say Man United Herbert. That's a long number. That is. Um, should Oli be back to the transfer window or first find a permanent manager, then think about transfers? That's a good question. Direct to football, bruv. Like, let the D DOF deal with all of that. Like, mm. I'm not trying to see man come in before a director of football is appointed because we've spent the last 
five seasons, yeah, replacing men that have been brought in. Mm. They'll make sense. We need to stop wasting money, you know. Mm. So I'm not trying to see that. Oli said that there might be deals that have been done before mm. he came in. And if that's the case, then whatever, mm. innit? If it's, it's probably going to be a centre back. But I don't think no one's coming in in January. I don't. I think if the right buy comes about, like you said, and if they've maybe spoke about it and had it, then maybe. But I think I would rather just keep the ship that we've got because if we've got enough, yeah. Unless, we've got enough, yeah, I'm, unless I'm the not, right deal, I'm not really I'm not too fussed. If we can't, I, I, for me, I wouldn't come out of the January transfer window playerless and be like, oh man, we missed the trick there. We should have strengthened. Like, I think. We've got enough to, to do what we need to do in the next yeah, four or five months. We've got enough to get that fourth spot. Under Oli, anyway. I'm feeling. We've got that. enough to get our fourth spot, yeah. yeah. In, you know what I mean? In the house already, bro. Yeah, of course. Another centre back will be good, but it's not the end of the world, bro. Mm. It's not. We've got we've got players there. So for me, yeah, um, I'm not really too fussed about the January transfer window. If we can get the right player, great. If we don't, so don't mind. Yeah, exactly. Um, Matthew McFadden, guy, you've done these um, posters as well, so thank you for that. But you also came up with a good quad, uh, question. What do we do with Matter? He scored some important goals and is an overall good player and presence in the squad. However, he's horrific out wide. He is. Good point. I mean, Matic Matt, Matt, is um, a proper smart player. He's a maverick. He always wants to be central, though. And I, and I saw even in the last game we played but against him. Him and Valencia, yeah, that right hand side was bleeding. It's, it was it's, horrible. it's non existent. Horrible. Do you know what I mean? And, and he gives, well, it was, yeah, Delot was the last game, but. He gave the lot so much to do. It's like, because he vacates that space, it's like the lot has to cover everything. And then he gets in Pogba's way as well because yeah. he drifts inside. Yeah. In the system that we want to play, Pogba has to be the most advanced midfield player, which means, Mata, sorry, bro, like you come on off the bench to replace Pogba, which ain't happening, yeah? Mm. Or you just get sold, bro. Like, I'm a big fan of his, but. I love my. I'm love a massive man. fan yeah. of his, but you know what, yeah? I think he's too good to be a bit part player for us. Mm. And I just feel like in the system, I'd rather someone would play. I'd rather have Chong on the right than him because at least it offers mm. you pace mm. and going in behind. Like, Matt is so predictable, bro. Mm. Like, he unbalances the whole team. He's always going to come inside, obviously. Yeah. He hasn't, well, he has a complete inability to take someone on the outside. But maybe against the lesser teams, obviously, he can come and unlock things. But I just think over the course of a season, and he really he wants to be a 10. Well, because he, he wants is to a, be 10, a 10 and he's you know good enough saying? to play 10 but somewhere else. But he's never else. going to get in as a 10. At, he's good at, enough you know. to play 10 somewhere else. He could go back to Valencia and play 10. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But for me, like, he's wasted on that right-hand side. Mm. And if he's happy if to do I that. If I was the manager, I'd sell him, bruv. I would. Just cash in. I'd cash in on him because he's 30 years old. He's past his prime. He's still good enough that man could get a little bit of money for mm. him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, he is one of them players like Andreas that I rate. Yeah. But... I it's don't see where work. they fit in at the club, yeah. like under the system. It's just like, Rom, under the system, I don't see where he fits in the starting eleven. Mm. If you want to stay and be a, a sub, then boy... And I'm that's a, different. That's, yeah. that's great quality to bring yeah. off the bench. And that's, and that's where I stand. And I think if one wants to um, be a bit part... Well, he, he knows he's a bit part player. Yeah. He is, he is. That's what he has been f for the last, what, two years, really? Yeah, but in and out probably the lose him on a free because that's what United do. We're yeah. shit when it comes to yeah, selling We just keep extending it by the one year and then it keeps running down and we decide at the yeah. end because of they obviously don't want to tie him down long term and give him his last big contract. For me, I just think, look, I love the guy. He's got amazing time for the fans. Fantastic person. Yeah. Met him personally, spoke with him. He's a great guy. Love him. But I think you're right. I think in terms of the progression of the team, it, 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 in certain games where we want to play a certain style, it just doesn't yeah. work. Same with Fellaini, mm. same with Andreas. Mm. Like, man, I just don't see where these men fit in. Like, I really don't. Yeah. Thank you guys for those, um, for those questions. Um, keep those coming in. Keep those coming in. To finish off this show, obviously, yeah, the Spurs game is the next game this Sunday. It's the big one, man. I mean, look, the rival fans, as they would like to hate because they don't want to see Man United coming back, yeah, but... Yeah. They do have a point. You ain't played no like this is where like we'll see what you want to do against you know, and that's what I, I want to see us. You know, for, from a Man United perspective, man, a fan, we're just happy. I've been singing with fans jumping up and down, ole, 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 because we've been starved of attacking football. It's funny like, how mad the fan cams were, isn't it? When we were oh. losing, everyone was like, "Oh, fucking fan cams and that." Now everyone wants to be on camera, blood. You see how it is? Oh, how it changes! It's but great, isn't you it? know, we'll be there for the good, the yeah. bad, and the ugly. That's that's just what it is. That's the that's what we're gonna keep doing for you guys, but. It does, it does show the difference, like how the fans are feeling. But this game, is it, is it, is it, uh, let's just not lose and keep going, or we must win? Nah, to be fair, like with a lot of fans, if that man offered you a draw now, you'd take it, bruv. It's mm -hmm. Spurs at Wembley. Like. I would, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I predicted a score draw anyway, like I think it's probably going to be a score draw, a 2 2 or something. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'll take that, bruv. If we like, lose, is it catastrophic? Like, are we done? 
No, because then man, man, I got Burnley next, and we give Burnley six. So yeah, everyone Brighton, forget. Brighton. Uh, no, Brighton, yeah, yeah. and then Burnley. Yeah. Like we give them man like six between them. And yeah. in man that time, forgotten. Arsenal playing Chelsea. But this yeah, is it. Yeah. We give them the, the almighty slap here, then everyone's forgotten about yeah. the Tottenham game. Like, That's a quick football mean? changes. That's football, it? innit? Like we just I, need to bang in another four or five, and all of a sudden, man, are not the talking way, about losing exactly. The way I see it is, I think just I think it's just a must. I think it's to take something from the game. Yeah. Just get a result. Obviously, the win is fantastic, and we are capable. I'd happily, I'd, I'd take a draw. I'd check someone's hand, take a draw now, yeah. um, because as like I said, the next week I think it's Arsenal Chelsea. So then there's more points to be had there. So if we can get something out of that game, and then you're looking and at we're it like team with a hundred percent record over Christmas as well, aren't we? Fantastic. And you know what the bigger thing is, Vance. All the teams. Then after that Spurs game, yeah, we've done Liverpool. Apart from Arsenal, all these teams have to come to us. Yep. Chelsea, Liverpool, City. Um, you know. So I think that we can, we can claw back some, some of it there because I think we're going to be strong at home against these we we were we'll, even, we'll under, go, even we'll under that guy we'll we was we'll go Arsenal and slap them anyway bruv we're going to slap them in their backyard bruv like, we're used to beating up Arsenal on this channel you know the yeah. ones there bruv headlock city blood man are used to it blood Rance <laughs> right you know what let's just let's just have a quick discussion yeah obviously DT saying uh, that you know um, you did it when he wasn't looking um <laughs> You know, you'd bro, like to see you try and bro, get I him in the head. Like, today, what, what, what's the deal with that whole thing? What's, bro, what's the deal? What's everyone, the deal? Saw, everyone saw what happened, didn't it? And the thing is, if you haven't seen it, you go on my channel, me and my brother done a watch along. Here's the thing, yeah? He, he knows, innit? Man's a bully, innit? That's what it comes down to. Because before the game, he had it in his head that he wanted to fight Mark, bro. He had it in his head. He put his hands on Mark. He put his hands on the referee, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? I heard him mouthing like rare, like when you threw him off, mm. he was running his mouth like rare, go bridge, I'm gonna do that. So I heard that and I've just grabbed him, bruv. It was a reflex thing. You know the ones that I heard him mouthing off and I said, Rare, well if you wanna fight someone, I'm right here, blood. Do you know what I mean? Like that was it. It was self it was just defense, bruv. You can't run after my guy and I'm not gonna grab you up. Like it's not gonna happen, innit? And even after that, after I clamped him, when you watch, <laughs> when you watch, why are you saying clamp? Why, you, clamp, why are you trying to ha ha amp it up? I'm giving it you the chance. It was a clamp, Rance. Like, I'm giving you the chance just to. Bring the mic, <laughs> man saw the headlock, bro. Man got the headlock. He was screaming, my neck, my neck. Couldn't breathe in that, so I let go of him. Please didn't say my back, my. Yeah. <laughs> so he couldn't breathe. Cool. So I let go of him, and then if you watch what happens, yeah, he doesn't come after me. He tries to go back for Mark. So you've come out of my headlock, but you're still going for Mark because you don't want nothing from me, bro. So none of this. I told man. Like, boom, this is the YouTuber. Them man want to fight. It's cool, innit? I told you, get the boxing gloves. Why you got to fight for? Why can't you just you know talk, why why can't no, just no, talk no, You know why we can't talk it out? Because you see this. When he was like, oh, yeah, if it was on the street and that, and, oh, he can't do it to my face. That's fight talk. So, cool. As big men, let's put on the gloves. I told man, 16, 14, 12, 10 ounces. I won't wear headgear. You can wear it if you want. You'll still get knocked out. It doesn't matter. Like, that's what I'm on. <laughs> Bruv, like, I read something today, and it's the realest thing. Social media has got people comfortable, yeah? with chatting shit and not getting punched in the face. And it's true. Of course it has. Yeah, well, guess what? Well, I'm here to change the game, blood. Do you know what I mean? None of this talk on YouTube, none of this keyboard warrior in the comments, this, that, and the other. Bro, pick the venue, do you know what I mean? And let's do this. If you don't want to fight, don't mention my name again. Um, hello, I'm Flex. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just giving you a disclaimer. Um, United stand. Um, we do not condone violence. We oh. do, you, blood. If you, if you come for Mark, if you come for Flex, if you come for any of my guys, bruv, like, so we're, we're fighting. And Sophie as well, we're fighting. Like, I'm, I'm here for that, innit? I have to back my people, blood. Finish? Yeah, yeah. On that subject? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, done, Except, done. Yeah? Done, done, done. You saw, he took it there, yeah? He started bringing up, so I gave him the chance <laughs> to kind of just, you know, either put it to bed or add more fuel to the fire is what he's done. Listen, obviously what's happened between you and DT is between you and DT. I'm yeah. sure there will be a resolution somehow. Maybe you guys can just meet up for a drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Um, prediction for the Spurs game? 2-2. Two, two. Yeah? I'm going to go... Man's gonna be optimistic and say 2 1 United. Aren't I was you? gonna say. <laughs> I know that, bro. I know you too well, blood. I know you too well. I just feel like, I feel like we can do. <laughs> and you know, could you guess it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what I thought in my gut. Yeah, I did. Um, I could be, we could be sitting here for the next week for the rant show. My head will be firmly down after we just got spanked 3 0. But anyway, look, that's what it's about. Listen, the Flex Around Show is back. We didn't fall out. As you can see, we are back strong as ever, um, giving you that A1 content. 
We've got some new shows coming up as well for you guys yep. um, that will be starting very soon within the coming weeks. Thank you a lot for the support. Hit Rants up on the socials. Yeah, bruv, hit my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Rants and Bants, and then you got the Twitter and the Instagram at Rants and Bants, man. Make sure you add that up for the content. Me, FlexUTD, on all of the socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are at Mama Delicious right now. Make sure you guys check out that place to eat. Google it, Mama Delicious, yeah? Northwest London. Make sure you check it out. Seafood is on point. There's a menu to the left of me. Look at that. Spicy chicken wings, chips, vegetable curry, scampi, spicy wedges, lobster and garlic butter and herbs. Listen, this is the place. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys same time, same place next week. Get your comments in. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace.